In last episode 6, we talked about detail lines and model lines. This is episode 7 and today we are going to talk about polygons. We are going to explore the three different ways of how you can create polygons in Revit. Let's start by going to model lines. In the draw panel, you have two options here. Inscribe polygon and circumscribe polygon. To better understand these two methods, I'm going to create a circle first. Let's say the circle is 5 meters in radius. Now let's create an inscribe polygon first. I'm going to use the same center and the same radius as my circle. Now let's create a circumscribe polygon using the same center and the same radius. Inscribe polygon created a polygon inside the circle and circumscribe polygon created a polygon outside the circle. While creating polygons, you have options in the options bar to choose number of sides you want for your polygons. Let's say I want to create three-sided polygon, which is a triangle. I can simply select my center point and my radius to create a triangle. The same is true if I want to increase the number of sides. For example, I want to create eight-sided octagon. Choose the center point, choose the radius, and you have your octagon. Now these two methods are very handy when you have a reference of a circle, a center point or a radius. But now let's say I want to create a pentagon whose sides are exactly 5 meters in length. How do I create such a pentagon? Under the draw panel, I only have two options, inscribed and circumscribed. Choosing one of them, I'm going to create a 5-sided polygon with an approximate size. Right now, this side is of 11.62 meters length. I'm going to select the chain of lines by going near one of them when it highlights. Press tab to select all the chain of lines connected to it and click. I'm going to choose scale option. Select the base point, select the old length and now define the new length. Let's say 5 meters in length. Let's try to measure the sides now. They are 5 meters exactly in its length. Let's try this again. I'm going to model line. Let's choose the circumscribed option this time. I'm going to, going to choose six sided hexagon. Cr choose the center. Choose the radius. I'm going to put a dimension here so we can see the change in real time. This is exactly six meter in length. However, I want to change this to 5 meter in length. I'm going to highlight one of these lines, press tab to select the chain of lines and click. Choose scale option. Let's choose the base point. Select the old length. So this is 6 meters. And now I'm going to type in 5, enter to choose the new length. Now we have a hexagon whose sides are exactly 5 meters in length. If you would like to create a pentagon of exactly 5 meters in length, you may pause this video at this point and try to follow the steps to do this exercise. In the next episode, we are going to talk about how to create different types of arcs in Revit using the Draw tool.